All right, hi. Um, <coughs> so, welcome. I'm going to be doing a capsule guy, any percent no major glitches tutorial. Um, relatively beginner level. Uh, if you guys are interested, um, sometime in the future I can do a more advanced tutorial, including some of the strat some of the hard strats that I'm not going to be talking about in this. Uh, but yeah, um, let's just get started. I guess there's nothing really to talk about at the beginning here. Um, first thing you want to do is, well, you want to have beat the game first, That's that saves about 7 seconds. Because what you can do now is go to level select, go to the second level, first danger, then just sort of walk backwards here, and that's it. Y you fuck off now. And now, that, that isn't part of the run. You start the run, the run timing starts when you first move after hitting new game, and the condition for a run starting is hitting the new game button. So. You hit, and oh, you're here instead of the beginning, and whenever you move, the timing would start. So, now. Uh, the first level, there's nothing really... Nothing, I mean, the first uh, first five levels, there's nothing really interesting going on at all. Since you have no gun, you can't do any funny, funny skips. So I'll just sort of go through these hopefully quickly, not fucking up. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess I could do, like, the typical fucking YouTuber thing and say... Um, well, well, while I do this, you guys should like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, but, like, nobody gives a shit. I mean, if you want to do it, go ahead. I'm not putting a gun to your head or anything. Oh, uh, there's a funny thing that saves no time there, which I haven't done, because why would I? It saves no time. Here, you want to sort of get hit there so that you then land on that platform and you save a bit of time. Okay, here. Here there is something interesting. I forgot about this. So, there are enemies here, and it gets really fucking annoying. There's a way to sort of manipulate them so that they don't... So that they're not an issue. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump here, and then jump high so that... Fuck. So that you land on the edge of the second platform, like so, and then you just jump again, and... I'm dumb. Maybe it's got to do with the entry cycle, I honestly have no idea on this. So yeah, that. Then you jump over this guy, and then... Uh, you want to jump, you want to do a high jump at the very end of this platform. So then the next guy will get honestly pretty confused. It's kind of it's kind of funny what he does, but he will get relatively confused and then you can just sort of jump over him and keep on going. Like so. Jump over this guy. Um, jump here, try and not get clipped by that corner. Wait for that thing to happen, and that's that. Okay. This. Um, I, so... Like, it's a small time save, that you want to start holding the retry button, which is R. Sort of under... I don't know if you can see my cursor. Can you see my cursor? Hold up. No, you can't. Fuck. Um... Oh, well. I'm sure I can change that real quick. Hold up. Well, you can see my cursor in theory. What the shit? Okay, whatever. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but OBS says you can, so I don't know. Um... It, so... Right after the... The the end of the block that's hanging down the most, which is level with the red with the bottom of the red platform, the bottom is level with the bottom of the block. If you can see my cursor, this is really easy. If not, this is hard. But right at the end of that, so if you can see my cursor here, you want to start holding the R button. So I, I think it's here at least. Uh, so that when you grab the gun, you you restart and you spawn where I am right now, and it saves us a bit of time. Like so. Fuck. Slightly later then. There you go. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay, this is going to be hard to explain. You hit the button with your head. You, okay, that's a glitch that can happen in the game sometimes where you get stuck on the edge of two surfaces for no real reason. But anyway, you shoot that guy. Uh, you jump over this guy. You shoot. You shoot again. You try and hit him. You suck at it. Okay, you know what? I'm, do I'm gonna do the other strat because I'm, I'm not good at this apparently. Um, the other strat's lazy. You just sort of hit him here, and then you jump over him, and then you hit him there, and then you hit him, and then you hit, and you hit that, and then you sort of hit this guy from the top. Holy shit! And then you sort of climb up here. There's an alternative. Like you can either do this, which oh, dude, can you jump? You can either do that. Alternatively, you can do this. In theory. Hydro, can you please 
Thank. Yeah, you can do that. In th I'm good at this game. You can do that. There you go. Um, this level. So you can skip most of it. You hit that. And then instead of doing the Nintendo strat, which I have not done in forever, you, which is sort of this. Right? You can just sort of jump up here and then jump up here and then jump over there by shooting. You can also jump up here instead of doing the intended strat, which is this and then this and then this. And then here you jump, you hit that thing and you should land on top of the block. And then as you're moving backwards, you shoot again, you hit the, you hit the mark and uh, you land on the platform and then you jump and you hit the mark again and done. This, uh, you just go, basically. There's no real... There's nothing really to it, apart from the fact that here, you will probably get hit by a bullet if you don't get hit on the lightning, but that's... So, there is a way to save it, but it's hard as shit, so I'd recommend getting hit by the laser at this level. Um, this has an interesting... In, this is one of the very few intentional skips that we do in the run. This was intended by, by Affinity where you, oh, okay. So, first main, first weird tech in the run apart from like these jumps. Um, you can wall jump. It's oddly particular. Um, I'll, I'll be real with you guys. I have no idea, I have no idea how to explain these. Just sort of try them, basically. You'll eventually get the hang from um, so ideally you sort of come along here and then you jump and then you jump off it again and you should get to the top. Um, but if you miss that and you sort of do this or whatever, when you're landing here, if you jump and then sort of do this kind of movement, you, it just lands you on the corner for some reason. Because these work because, um, the game is sort of putting you in between a... I think, we think at least, that the game is putting you between a tiny gap that you can actually barely see in the game between the two boxes, which allows you to sort of jump on, you just, you can just jump. Um, so yeah, with that, with that uh, weird explanation out of the way. Oh, also, if you can't get this wall jump, you can also just do that. Slightly slower though. Not a big deal. But yeah, once you do that, you come here and then you want to jump and then shoot and then just fucking spam shoot. Then you'll get hit by the spikes. You don't give a shit. You keep on going and you will get to the other side. Demonstration. That's bad. Um, oh, I did a, th okay. I did a thing there called a reverse damage boost. Um, it doesn't save ni like a lot of time, not enough time for it to be considered worth doing. Uh, how it works is you sort of, you, when you're about to get hit, you change the direction you're moving. Um, and it just boosts you in the opposite direction. It's nifty, but it doesn't do much. Uh, this this level has a really hard start, which you're not gonna be doing. Uh, you shoot the button, you kill that, okay. I'm gonna have to be pausing here a lot. You shoot the button, you shoot that guy. Then you're gonna shoot the first button again so you can get through the wall. Um, like so. You shoot this thing, um, then you go over here, and then you sort of do that, yeah, uh, I, I'm bad at explaining, but that's basically how it works. Uh, you want to shoot, when you're going over the spikes before the yellow guy that shoots at you, the guy who's shooting at me over here, um, you want to shoot high so that you bait the bullet high so it's easy to go under it. I didn't that time and it barely worked. But it's a lot safer if you shoot high. I'm going to sh show that. Like this. It's safer. And then you go over this guy, you shoot. Oh. You want to wait a bit there. <laughs> I always forget that. Um. So yeah. Uh, that's this room done. I'll eventually get it. That's that, and then you just keep on going. Uh, this room, um, nothing to it. You just go. Uh, you go either a little bit faster or a little bit less fast. I'm gonna be going the little bit less fast route. 
because this is the beginner tutorial and I'm not going to be making that cycle. It is possible if you guys want to in the more advanced version of this tutorial, I will show that. Um, so now you get to this. So I had a kind of a stroke while trying to figure out what the fuck to do here because it's faster to go down the bottom, but it's really, really hard. But it's also pretty tricky to go up the top. I've decided to go to show the top route. So this box shooting is pretty important. You want to shoot, you want to aim at the gap between the second column and the third column, the top the top gap, not the one where the, the shooty thing is, the cannon, the cannon. Um, you want to shoot there twice. Then you want to get close here. Then you want to shoot to um, at the top box here, the corner of the top box, and you shoot again, and it'll just destroy everything in your path. And then um, you go up here, you jump here, and then you sort of get on, oh God. You get on top of the cannon. Then you jump here, and then you jump up here. If you want to be safe and take the save, go here. Uh, there's a secret here, uh, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> then you jump here, and then you jump here, and then you're here. Um, you've skipped this thing, um, which is actually really hard to do fast. And then if you haven't taken the save, you're here with one health, so you don't want to get hit by the cannons. Um, and then you just do this normally, you shoot your way through there and you ignore the top guy. Um, the next two levels is auto-scroller, so there's nothing to do about it, literally. You just sort of meme by no-scoping the, the birds and shit. You can also take damage, there's no reason why to not. You can also just ignore that enemy after you fail to no-scope it, it's, it's whatever. And then you can just sort of, these birds never hit you ever, unless you move. But yeah, that's it. Um, same with this level. There's a funny thing you can do to not bore yourself to death, which is sort of put the cursor right in the middle of, of like, so that you, you're shooting straight and never move the cursor. I almost died there. Um, but yeah, uh, you just do this level casually. There's nothing, nothing to it. Uh, also, fun fact, if you, just start, if you just stand in the middle, you, you will not get hit by these ever in the history of the universe. But yeah, next level is, uh, something so you come in here you want to shoot this you jump you shoot then you hit and you shoot again and then it, you come here um so i had to do that really quickly to make that cycle uh you can make a faster cycle but it's fucking hard uh, I, I can't even I, I can't even do it once and then you want to you know shoot the target um and as you shoot you'll get knocked by the barrier like this and then you just sort of do this. This, you instantly shoot here. I'll pause now because um, if not, uh, this next thing will be hard to explain. Okay. As you fo this is one of the hardest strats in the run that I'm going to be showing. As you're falling, one of the hardest strats to understand, it's not that hard to execute, but yeah. As you're falling, you want to hit the yellow dude to push him in the path of the door. Then you'll ignore him and hitting him a second time because um, he'll be killed by the door when you go through, I'll showcase. Yeah, um, mildly brutal, but yeah. Now, the, on, on top of the screen, there's a guy, there's a green cube guy just waiting to kill you. Um, so if you move back, you wanna shoot um, top left. That'll hit him once and then keep on moving towards the right and shoot straight, and that should get him a second time. Like so. And then you just kill this guy twice. No, you kill him once. Okay, so there's a bird and a guy that moves. These, I believe, are just on a cycle when you enter them. What you want to do is you hit the bird. You sort of hit the bird um, straight on, no fancy, no fancy direction boosting or anything. You just hit the guy, and that'll uh, it it sort of stalls you and it stalls the shot and it it's weird. So the bird kills the second. So the bird bird kills the other guy. Oh, I'll show. Then you shoot the bird and you keep on going. You shoot this guy. Oh. Okay. Uh, you just meant to hit that guy and basically do this however the fuck you want. You're gonna get hit anyway. Um. 
So then you get to mirrors. This is honestly just practice the angles. I'm not good at them, but you just practice the angles and eventually you'll get it. Uh, there's a kind of risky thing here, which you you do this, but it never works ever. What's safer is just to wait until the camera moves back into place and just shoot. And here comes another auto scroller. I'll be showing a funny here. Um, it's a very, very consistent wall jump that saves no time. So if you, if you, against this wall, uh, you just jump neutral and you can just jump off that. So you can do this. It's stupid. It saves nothing. It apart from like gives you some swag points. So now we get into L. I'll be doing this normally. There's a way to skip it entirely. Well, not entirely. You can get past this whole gap in in one laser cycle. It's incredibly hard. I'll be showing that in the other in the other video. You guys are interested in me making that. But yeah, you just do this normally. Uh, you can jump on that. You, you can make it here in one cycle, and then you just sort of go. If I had made the jump, I could have continued. But yeah, that cell. It's nothing hard at this difficulty. But yeah. Um, this level, uh, okay, I'm gonna be showing the reverse damage boost right, I think. Yeah, so here, remember what I said the reverse damage boost was? You move in the opposite direction as you wanna go, and then you, when you're about to get hit, and you get hit in that in the opposite direction. So basically, if you wanna get hit right, you move left. So it's, you just sort of use the spikes at the bottom. Okay, I didn't get the damage boost, but the reverse damage boost, but whatever. You, you, basically, if you don't get hit before that point in the level, you can sort of skip the the waiting and go under there. Then this is just shoot the buttons. Uh, you will miss one, guaranteed, as I just did. Oh god, it's Rainbow Bridge time. Okay. This level is complex. So, you want to shoot heat, you want to aim here-ish and then hit that, so that thing just fucks off. Now you have full liberty to do whatever the hell you want with the buttons. You can hit any of the of the marks, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna fall and hit the yellow one. You're gonna go over here. You're gonna stand on the very edge of this, and when the platform is not in the way, you shoot and you hit the green one. And then you uh, sort of hit the purple one like that. And then you come back, and you're saying, well, Hydra, you've missed half of them. Yeah, but you can just sort of jump across. Uh, so that's pretty fun. Um. This room has nothing to it. This is just another a pretty stressful auto scroller to be fully honest. But yeah, that's it. Um so, okay. I'm gonna be showing the I'm gonna be showing two strats here. One actually no I'm not, I'm just gonna be showing the easy strat because the other one's fucking hard. So yeah, this is just literally do the room casually. There's nothing to it. Uh, you just do the room normally. Like, you know, you just do it casually. Uh, easy room. So, first, oops, I forget this room exists always. Uh, nothing to it. Just do this room casually. If you've gotten to this point in the run, you're probably pretty good at doing these backward river shooty things. So you just do that. Yeah. Uh, here comes this thing. There's a skip here. I'm going to be doing it and then explaining how it works. Nice. Fuck. Yeah. Um, that's hard. <laughs> um, it's hard and it's at the end of the run. Uh, if you, this is something that you might not want to do if you're on a really, really good pace, because it, it does have a tendency to kill runs. But yeah, what you do is you sort of come here and then you wall jump so you can make the cycle in time. Uh, you will get the feel for it eventually. I have the feel, but I've lost it apparently. There you go. And then once the laser goes off, you wait a little bit. How much? A little bit. You'll, again, you'll get the feel for it. Just know that a little bit, and you shoot this box. And then you jump, and then you move backwards, and you get hit by the thing, and if you're not horrible, you land on the platform.
um, it is evident that I am absolutely garbage. Oh my god. I tend to get this first try. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Uh, this is a, uh, a skip that you'll have to practice a lot to get consistent at. Um, this is borderline advanced. The thing is, it saves like a ton of time. Um, as you can see, I, I'm like not awful at this game. Um, <laughs> and I'm struggling. Okay, the fact that I'm struggling with the wall jump isn't normal. But don't worry, this will also be normal probably for you when you first try it, because that's a pretty finicky wall jump. Um, but anyway, uh, just practice a slot and eventually you'll get it. Holy shit, I'm going to get roasted by Futuristic so bad. I'm tempted to cut half this out, but I also can't be bothered to open this in Vegas. Why am I not getting the speed out of the boost? What the hell? Dude! <laughs> My game is broken, clearly. Okay, there you go. That was insane. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, same deal with the four. There's a skip which saves a lot of time, but it's also like genuinely hard. Um, so try, basically, uh, if, the, if you're on a good pace, don't try it. So what you normally do is you go back and then you hit the button, then you go all the way back, but you can just sort of hit it from here. You want to aim, okay, it's sort of three quarters, I, I think, I'm not too good at this, so don't quote me on this. Futuristic will post a comment if I get this wrong. I guarantee he will post a comment saying, no, you idiot, it is not three quarters and one and a quarter. It's a bit different, but three quarters of a block above this one that I'm shooting, that I'm aiming at, and a, and a block and a quarter above this one, roughly. So, there. Um, so, yeah, just practice that, and eventually you will get good at it, maybe. And then this is just normal. Uh, nothing really noteworthy here. Oh no, yeah there is. There's a cactus skip. Shout out to the cactus for finding this. Oh. Okay, it's hard. Never mind. Um, so, shout out to the cactus. He's cool. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you just do this level normally. Uh, forgot what I said. Um, this level sucks, by the way. Uh, I would, I just, I practice it a lot just because I have had endless runs killed by that bird. Um, <laughs> that was definitely on purpose just to showcase the fact that this level is hard and can fuck up runs. That was not accidental. I don't know why I thought that would work. My shot was clearly going through the, through the mark. Oh shit, that was almost bad. But yeah, there's nothing of note here. You do want to go around on that side just in case you mess up landing on the platform, because under, under the other side is the, the thing that activates the spikes. So yeah, uh, go on that side. Don't jump there, that can kill you. That's a jump that you can do. It's pretty tight. I'd probably recommend not doing it. I recommend you sort of do this. It, it saves the jump. The shot maybe saves 0.1 or something. It's not a big deal. <laughs> and then you just ride the lift. And here comes the escape sequence. So, this is funky. The first level's, oh. This one's really funky because the first level's free. The second level is not. 
The third level is free, and the fourth level... I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, time skip there, you can just sort of jump over that. Over that gap, no need to hit the, the switch again. Um, so here, you shoot this guy, you shoot this guy, nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, I don't know why I tried that. That's really, really hard. Um, <laughs> shoot this guy, shoot this other guy. You shoot the bird. Um, what the fuck? Okay, here's the first thing. You want to go... Okay. I'll explain once I get there again and not die. What the hell, dude? Okay, so yeah, you want to get on the very edge of this block and then jump and shoot and you'll actually make it across the gap. So like this. Then you want to shoot down, land on there. Uh, okay, that was to not take damage, but I took damage anyway. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm not going to be showing that strike. That's, that's kind of fucking hard. I'm going to be showing the slightly easier version. You still want to do this because it saves time. But what you want to do is sh Okay. Thanks, mouse, for moving. I, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, I think I didn't change the DPI from that other time. Okay, I think I know what's going on with my mouse. Uh, so you... Dude. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling here. Um, I'm tired. I haven't slept too well today. Uh, but anyway, how is you guys' day going? Okay, so you want to shoot that guy. Then you keep on going here, and then you sort of do this, and then you do that, and you just learn the movement, honestly. It's going to be incredibly hard to explain what just happened there, but anyway, this level is free, you do casually. That jump can sometimes just not work for some reason, as you can see. I'd recommend shooting there, like at any level. Oh no, you can't shoot there because you need the you fucking used the gun before, right? Um, just pray. It tends to work. So you can shoot this guy without hitting the mirror. It took me forever to learn that. Uh, and then you shoot that guy and that guy. They're all the same guy, actually. But anyway, then you sort of. Go around here and you move on to the fine level. Okay. Uh, you can shoot between these platforms to gain over the time, like over the course of the level, a significant amount of time. Um, this, I recommend practicing a lot. And even then, if, you f if you're on a great run, don't do it. Also, you can jump from the top of, the, of that platform to the second crate. You can skip the first one. But yeah, I'd recommend not doing this if you're on a great run. Because, okay, hold up. Yeah, because, um... You can fuck it up and you can die and that's not great. But there's a thing here. It's consistent, but it's scary because it is the second to last or third to last jump in the run. I'm gonna try and do it. Yeah. Um, that's what I mean. That can happen. Uh, my game is lagging a lot. Thank you. But yeah. Um, once I get past this, that's the end of the run. Um, okay, I'm not going to go for it. I'm horrible. Uh, essentially, if you jump at the right time, you can ride that last platform, and it saves about half a second. It's generally not worth doing, unless it's sort of not quite a PB, in which case probably go for it, but if not, just do that. Holy shit! I am mildly triggered. As you can probably imagine. Um, but yeah, you do want to practice this level a lot because it's 
It's very chokeable and it's the very last level in the run. So definitely practice this a fair bit. There you go. Um, then here you just want to do as many shots as you possibly can. Uh, timing ends when the, the end screen pops up with the number of deaths. So it would, timing would end here. But yeah, that's basically it at a basic level. That's Capsule Guy, um, any percent no mega glitches. If you guys want to, I will be making a tutorial for a more advanced version of any percent no mega glitches. And if you really want to, I'll make a tutorial for any percent, just normal any percent with glitches, which is something. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.